greetings in the name of mighty name of jesus christ i thank you each and every one who are viewing the message through lord's voice channel today we are going to study on the women in the bible series now we are thinking about who was the women take a difficult decisions so the difficult decision maker in the bible if you look at genesis 24 chapter 25 chapter and 26 chapter we find a wonderful women called rebecca in the bible and she is the one of the most prominent women in the scripture the second of after sarah of the matriarchs in the ancestor stories of <coughs> genesis so the beautiful narratives in genesis 24 to 27 chapters describe how she became isaac's wife gives birth to twins after years of marriage and gains the primary place in the lineage for her younger son jacob he is destined to become the ancestor of all israel while challenging to accept for some her deception in manipulating isaac for jacob's benefit shows her to be an admirable and assertive woman rebecca was the beautiful and a very intelligent daughter of bethuel the great niece of abraham she was the grand daughter of nahor and milka and the sister of laban Rebecca married Isaac the son promised to Abraham and Sarah she bore two sons Esau and Jacob the nation of Israel come from Jacob and the line of Esau become the Adamites so what is the special meaning her legacy of uh, character we can see that what is her the meaning of Rebecca's name in the hebrew language the meaning for her name rebecca is to tie formally or to nose related to a female the name suggests her beauty by means of which men are snared or bound another meaning of rebecca's name is that of captivating according to bible gateway as her name reflects rebecca in the bible was a woman of captivating beauty in genesis 24 chapter 16 verse it's clearly given that she is a very beautiful young woman and very attractive in appearance a maiden whom no man had known she was a young woman who came from a well to do family in upper mesopotamia she was a relative of abraham rebecca was a beautiful a shrewd and energetic physically robust and strong build we meet her at the well of aran naharaim where she showed that she was willing to work and confident enough to speak to the strangers who had been sent to find a wife for isaac so we can see that Isaac and Rebecca's match finding in the Bible the story of Isaac's pursuing Rebecca unfolds in the longest chapter in the book of Genesis after Sarah's death Abraham sent out his servant to his hometown of Aram Naharaim to select a bride for their son Isaac the servant was loaded with clothing jewelry and gifts for the bride and her family before the servant left for his journey he worried that the women would not return with him abraham allayed his worries by telling the servant that he would be free from the oath if the women was unwilling to return with him during his journey he prayed god to make him successful and show kindness to his master he then asked god for a sign to know which women god had chosen for his master's wife before the servant 
even finished his prayer a young woman appeared with a jar on her shoulder and went down to the spring to draw the water the woman was rebecca and the servant spoke with her after some reluctance rebecca's father and brother agreed for her to leave with the servant to marry isaac so it is the first time a woman in the hebrew bible who marital law is communicated so when <clears throat> you see uh, rebecca went to the uh, before accepting the what are the how they were accepted because of uh, knowing the relationship with father abraham the servant told about how was abraham blessed by god and how was well blessed and uh, well blessed so uh, he said in chapter 24 35th verse and the lord hath blessed my master greatly and he is become great and hath given him flocks herds and silver and gold and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses so he he, he had a son in his old age and he asked me to get a daughter from his own people so when uh, laban and bethuel gave their approval he told them how it was done so uh, after marrying isaac uh, the rebecca was vexed with her barrenness in those days any women barren women were treated very lowly and inferiorly so she was vexed with her barrenness when rebecca failed to become pregnant after 20 years of marriage he was 20 years elder to rebecca isaac prayed for child and god heard his prayer so she didn't pray but uh, he isaac prayed and he got uh, answer from the lord because he was a promised son of abraham by god and isaac lived a righteous life when rebecca became pregnant with twins she was concerned because struggled together within her she went to inquire the lord the oracle of god addresses her when she is pregnant and he states that two nations will contend with each other in the womb the brothers would become ancestors of israel and edom so how rebecca's deceptions were taking place it is fascinating to see how rebecca fooled her husband isaac she knew esau was the first born son and had had a birthright over everything but she still manipulated things for jacob to receive the blessing instead even jacob worried that this plan to deceive his father might fail because esau has a hairy um man as of was a hairy man and jacob was a clean shaver rebecca's behavior in securing the birthright for her favored son jacob and protecting him from esau's wrath by having him sent away has been seen as a problematic however the biblical text is clear about god's intention to have jacob continued the lineage this means that through this ruse rebecca has carried out his will but even then how she has manipulated her things what are her weaknesses what are her strengths we consider what are the strengths of rebecca is she is very attractive she is virgin she was virgin strong servants hot diligent <coughs> whole hearted and draw water until the camels are finished drinking and she was so hospitable she gave water to the servant of abraham and then she poured water again to his camels so she had a uh, servant servants hot and very hospitable hot and she was also bold she can talk to the servant of abraham and also she is a modest lady <coughs> when she saw isaac in the field 
when he said he was the his master then she put um, veil on her head so that shows her modesty and what are the weakness of rebecca one is um, took money for service when she poured water he gave golden ring and uh, golden uh, bracelets like that she took it but uh, in those days that is uh, um, normal so the second thing is she practiced favoritism between her children that is very bad nowadays we are also practicing that uh, this child is a daddy's son girl and this girl is a mummy's son so we are uh, unnecessarily we are doing uh, undue favors to our children and we are raising competition between two so this was practiced in those days poor mothering skills her skills are not very efficient and uh, uh, she uh, isaac loved esau while rebecca loved jacob so this made their both sons irresponsible and uh, liars and also cheaters and they married hidden people and she was also manipulative she uh, impacts other people through her words and also uh, rash in speech she is uh, when uh, jacob is not interested was not interested to cheat his brother she talked that let the curse upon me so she is a very rash lady speaking and also she is unsubmissive and disrespectful to husband to get her way so she had uh, when we see she wants to cheat her own husband and she had a disrespect and uh, unsubmissive behavior we are seeing and also she had uh, so much of deceptive life she um she um changed the plan of isaac isaac actually interested to bless his eldest son ishaw but she heard and she sent her younger son to get the um good uh, lamb and to bring it and to she cooked it and she made everything even though he hesitated she make him to lie and uh, she gave the hairy um things so that he will be like isa so she encouraged so much of uh, deceptive thing in jacob's life and also wise in her own eyes she thought that she knew what was best to the point that she caused her son to sin and to get it so she made her own son so when things were when isaac first blessed jacob later the next minute isha with all his difficulty he got the um, sheep and he cooked it where he is a very nice cook. so he cooked and uh, he brought the food to his father and father told that just uh, i thought that you were the isha but uh, your brother cheated you so he doesn't get any blessing single blessing for that he was had a great wrath on his brother at that time she thought that if her brother could be here he may killed after isaac's death so she sent him to the to her brother's house to find the things so like that she though she loved him but she was her deception makes her to give so much of distance she couldn't see her son again that was the bad story bad impact of deception of rebecca's life so we can what lessons we can learn from rebecca is oh, first her uh, there are several lessons we have to learn from her but if we want to apply to our own lives one thing is marriage is built on love and faith both she doesn't know who is isaac and who is abraham but she had um with her faith and the love she came so the marriage of rebecca and isaac teaches that marriage is built not just on love but on faith that faith has in our lives so we have to practice such kind of law rebecca was not looking for a husband at that time she was 
not actually interested about her marriage she is a suffragist and she wants to uh, uh, draw the water from the well and she wants to feed the shepherd uh, sheep but unexpectedly it's according to god's time she got husband she was doing her job as a shepherdess suddenly god managed a marriage arranged a marriage for her god is able to provide <coughs> life partners in unexpected and quite ways quick ways when this the timing is fulfilled the marriage was arranged between families rather than between the individual themselves so the second thing we have to learn from her is servanthood servanthood is not just uh, doing what we ask to do but going beyond our capacity going above and beyond to serve in ways that are difficult and take us time and effort rebecca has more say in whom she married than did isaac in the golden days in syria um uh, she has to a bride has to say her saying has a lot of uh, impact without her uh, consent the marriage will not take place whereas isaac is expected to marry the women brought home to him by his father sagent isaac and rebecca's relationship provides a great example of how love exists in the face of uncertainty even then when uh, when for uh, nowadays in the marriage during the marriage time people will bless the bride and bride groom like uh, you should be blessed like uh, rebecca and isaac abraham and sarah so that rebecca had to act in faith to choose to leave her family for a man she did not know and to marry him it has a deep roots in faith so god must be center of our marriage without uh, without uh, uh him at your unions head you will be uh, relying on only love so faith and love together we have to establish our married life through faith god can help you so friends we must let god carry out his plans sometimes uh, we can withstand the rocky ro- roads that marriage will face but we must let god carry god carry out his plans so rebecca try to take matters in her own hands rather than god's decisions god's promises but as we know from sara this never works out as we expect it to and also god is in charge of our lives we should never try to Uh, hurry him or take matters into our own hands the best option always lies in watching or waiting on the lord until he accomplishes his will in our lives the another lesson we have to learn is god heals our heart with the new relationships when abraham sought a wife for his son he had recently been widowed and was a very old man until sara died isaac enjoyed a clock relation a close relationship with his mother with his parents but god used a new relationship with rebecca to help their heart and uh, from losing his own mother and gave a beautiful wife as a new relationship so we all experience the loss of our own dear people in our families in our lives but because god said that it is not good for man to be alone or women to be alone he will often bring new ones into our life to replace what was lost the favoritism hurts families now this is a great crisis in our family structures family institutions god has uh, established a family institute to extend our love affection and uh, attention towards each and every uh, member in the family equally but due to this favoritism mother loves one child and father loves another child this caused a great crisis in the families and again it leads to 
many undue things. So, we can see from Rebecca's story that showing favoritism is harmful to families. St. John's James warned us, second chapter 1 first verse, second chapter 8 to 9 verse, he warned us that showing favoritism is a sin. God answers prayer but not St. John's warn us that showing favoritism is a sin. God answers prayer but not always when we expect them. So whether God is given answer to our prayers in a right time or in a correct time, we have to wait on him. For many years both Isaac and Rebecca uh, in this situation, Isaac prayed for children and she had children. It appears however that the prayer was not immediately answered as we see few verses later. Isaac was a man who had been praying for 20 years before God answered his prayer. This is another important lesson from Rebecca in the Bible. God does answer prayer but doesn't always do it in our expected time frame. We should never uh, confuse a delay with a denial. God may be delaying his, the answer for our good, but that does not mean that he has denied us. God's plan will always prevail. It is uh, comforting to know that God still used Rebecca despite her failures and deception. His plan was not prevented because of her misguided actions. In fact, God used to orchestrate the fulfillment of his purpose because he wants to, God wants to design to get the lineage through Jacob, not to the Asha. So, there is some things one we may turn into wrong. Isaac and Rebecca showed that God was first in their marriage. They gave priority in their married life. And so throughout their lives, there was always a consistent uh, 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 consistent denotion of how much Isaac and Rebecca in the Bible, people trusted in him. This should be an example to us, how much we can see Abraham and Sarah, how they um, got the promise from the God, they have waited 25 years to fulfill God's word. Like that, even uh, Rebecca and Isaac also, they waited for 20 years to get the children. So I, Isaac was a, led a prayer life and he prayed God, then his wife become pregnant. So we see that our primary focus and trust in him, very essential. So oh, we must focus our trust and faith on God. Abraham and Sarah's faithful life had a great impact on Isaac and Rebecca. Though we are also imperfect beings like Abraham and Sarah, Rebecca and Isaac, yet they still played an essential role in God's plan for the future nations of Israel and how he would use them as examples throughout the history. So friends, uh, God uses imperfect people to accomplish his perfect will. Thankfully, he is still doing that today and he has throughout the history and he will use you and I too also. Rebecca's choice to lie and to see, deceive her husband is an example of how wrongdoings by Christian will not hinder God's plan and how his will prevails despite our son, our sins. So when she was uh, accepted Isaac as a husband, then their family blessed her with these words. Uh, we can see uh, Genesis 24th and 60th verse, and they blessed Rebecca and said unto her, the what of our sister, be thou the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess 
the gate of those which hate them from we can see from jacob and his 12 tribes we see the savior has come into this world and saved us and he uh, destroyed the the horrible the the seed possessed the gate of those who which hate them he killed the evil and he gave us life to us he gave us salvation to us so friends though we are weaklings in our life day to day though the women and the men though we are uh, fearfully following god's words now and then there is an opportunity that uh, um, we may slip out of it but even then god is there to love us and forgive us and bless us with all this i i pray you that we must be uh, listen to god and we must uh, pray the law let us have prayer lord you give us the power to bless our children through our example our teaching our love and our prayers may our children surpass us in faith in all their struggles may they sense your nearness and may their joy be renewed each morning may each of them become the kind of person that attracts others to you i ask all these things to bless the people who are viewing the channel i ask god to help you and to bless you with all whatever you want god will uh, fulfill all your heart's desire we ask all these things in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you